just a tip for all the low-end PC users over here, this will work for you. It shouldn't give any FPS difference at all. As you can see on the top left, I am getting 68 FPS, 70 FPS, about that right now. I'm going to disable the effect and enable the effect. It is still the same. So I used this on one of my old PCs with the GT710 and 4GB RAM. I get about 40 to 50 FPS usually on that computer and I started using this effect. It had absolutely no difference. The only reason I stopped using it is because I have an overheating laptop so that causes problems. Anyway, follow this entire video carefully to uh, get your game looking like this. Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to install the reshade in PR and I will show you the presets that I use. You can play around with the effects but there was a clip on Fallujah on one of my videos where there was a really cool explosion effect and since then everybody's been asking me what kind of preset I use for the reshade. So I'll just make this tutorial to show you guys how to install it and how to set it up afterwards. So first you go to Google Chrome you click the link in the description of this video right here uh, reshade.me it should take you to the top of this page right here scroll down you click download reshade 5.1.0 you click the key button it might tell you it might harm your computer but it's not going to so right here Right here you just open the reshade setup file. Now here you are going to uh, find your game exe, so I'll just show you how to do that. Click on browse. Go to your games install directory. Then from here you select prbf2.exe. You don't need to go to any other folder, you don't need to go to mods PR, you just select prbf2.exe right here in the project reality folder and you click open. Oh, fuck. Alright, from here you select whichever DirectX you're using, you select DirectX 9 actually, I think that's the one that PR uses, so just select DirectX 9. You won't get this modify option, it's my second time installing this, I already have it installed so it's saying modify. It should directly take you to the next screen. Now from here you need to select all of them because you want to get as many effect options as possible so if you select just one of them you'll get limited options i selected all of them so you should do that too for the sake of getting as many options as possible Now you click next once you're done with that. And it's going to start downloading the effects and installing it. Alright, you click uh, finish. I'm using my hotkey so it's causing some problems. Just click finish once you're done. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna start your game. Alright, so once your game is started, you go to options. The, to get the effects like I am in that video right there, you go to graphics, you set all of this to high. I keep shadows at low. I can't really recollect what the shadows and the light were on. 
So you set all the effects to high and then you start your game. And I'll cut this and uh, just record the game now. So once you're in game, by default you should be getting a tutorial as soon as you start. On the top of your screen you should be able to see a tutorial on how to start it. But if not, then I'll just show you how to manually do it. By default you click the home button on your keyboard, right? The home screen button. It should be below scroll rock, sc scroll lock and all of that. So you press the home button. You should get the all these effects on your screen. You should have a reshade preset that's selected on the top. If that's not selected, you can just add a new preset and then that should give you all of the options. Don't select anything yet. I'm definitely going to show you what each preset preset does. Not all of them, of course, the ones that I'm using. Just don't take all of any of them right now. None of them are ticked on your screen, hopefully. And you go to settings. That's one of the most important steps. You set your keyboard shortcuts. So you click, uh, you select an overlay key. You click here. You add in any of the hotkeys that you want to set here. I've selected Shift F2. What that does is opens and closes the overlay. And Shift F1, that will enable and disable the effects. So I'm not going to show you that yet. I'm going to show you that once I'm in the match. So I'm going to start a game real quick and then over there I will show you exactly uh, what were the effects that I'd used in my video over there. So I'm going to run Fallujah again. I'm going to run the same exact scenario, show you what were the effects that I'd use. Alright, so once you're in game, you should not be able to see any effects unless they're enabled or disabled. Now when we were on the menu, I had showed you how to set a key for the overlay. Alright, so you should have set an overlay key. You use that to open the overlay. Now you shouldn't have any of these ticked. Just before you click uh, any of the effects, you click active to the top. I don't know why this is here. Okay, anyway, it may say effects are disabled, or if the effects are enabled, it won't say anything at all. So, again, if you want to toggle the effects, you go to settings, you set the toggle key. So, the ones that I used during the video were DPX, Neo Bloom, Hex Lens Flares, and Levels. These were the only ones I used during that video, and whoever want to have similar effects can uh, enable those i'm gonna enable it right now i press the toggle key shift f1 and there it is it may seem a bit overwhelming at first it's obviously based on personal preference you can disable some of these if it's too much like levels for example disable that enable that neo bloom disable that it just made it look much better uh, on the eyes. That was the ones I used. This one I don't know what the hell it does. So one more I like to use though is hold on. A DELC sharpen. It really increases the textures if you can see the difference. Makes everything better quality. But anyway, we want the same quality of that video. So I'll just show you the effects, uh, how the Humvee blows up and shit, like seen in that video. So I'll just spawn in the PR bot. Alright. something else yeah. All right. <laughs> so that's how you use the reshade 
remember this might be hard on some people's eyes you can just disable whatever effects you want for example blooming HDR and neo bloom seem like a bit too much so you still have this effect so most people should not cause any FPS drop if you want to view your FPS you should open your console by clicking the button above the tab key and you type renderer r e n d e r e r dot draw FPS space 1 so on the top left you can see your FPS now when I disable the effect and when I enable the effect, there is absolutely zero difference. So you should not worry about any problem. And yeah, that's it. Joy.